while you are launching a reaction uh, after uh, a while so you need to monitor uh, the advancement of, re of your reaction for example okay so you need to spot some uh, spots from your flask here and spot it on the TLC and see if uh, the product that you are looking for is done or not yet and here you might uh, use the Dragondorf reagent or the permanganate, the potassium permanganate to uh, monitor if uh, you have the amine function that you are looking for. After, uh, after being sure that your reaction is done, now we can uh, head the column chromatography. Okay, so we're gonna head the column chromatography to separate our spots because we will not have uh, one pure uh, molecule, of course, we will have two or three, it depends uh, of your structure and the, the insertion or the introduction of your reactive uh, into your uh, hypoxide. And now we will show you the column chromatography and how it works. And this is the column chromatography. Okay, you need to, to prepare, uh, this is a rack tube, well, and you need to change at every time, and you prepare uh, uh, enormous tubes, and uh, you need to label them by one, two, three, four, five, six, and after, uh, you have to spot uh, every tube, for example, to see if uh, you have your uh, compound here or here or here which fraction now we're gonna spot from our tubes uh, here for example we prepared a TLC plate and we uh, need to write the number uh, of every tube here 5 until T and we need to spot from 5 and 15, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, okay? So we spot here and here and here. And of course you need to wash your capillary tube by the acetone, okay? Now we will hit the UV in order to see our spot. Of course you don't have to forget that the TLC plate you need to put it inside the chamber the system, the solvent system that you prepared, uh, of course, to have the migration of your spots. And after, like that, we can't say anything on the plate, but using the UV. And now we are able to see our spots. Uh, our spots are uh, very strong in the six, so the tube number six and the seven. Okay, so uh, we will recover the tube we, that are presenting the strong spots from our drying uh, from our uh, tube rack, and then we will evaporate the solvent and recover our uh, uh, molecule and of course making some elucidation of the structure using the NMR 